Hello people of the web and welcome back to my Lifecraft series. We're on episode 42, which for the Douglas Adams fans out there, you'll know that that's the answer to everything. But what's the question? The question I'm asking is which project do I fancy working on today? Now I keep a list of ideas of what I can do and browse through them to see which things inspire me when I'm looking to make a video. And I found one little gem that I'm really excited to do that would be a good start to the episode and allow a little bit of a time-lapse chat, something I haven't done for a little while. For this little side project that I want to work on, I'm going to need a bit of concrete and I have a funny feeling I'm running a little bit low on sand. Oh, my preview thing's not working. One moment. And now that should be fixed. It is. Oh, I have plenty of sand. What was I worrying about? That'll do me. And gravel. Oh, not so much gravel. Unfortunately, I need to turn this concrete powder into concrete, and I don't have one of those fancy machines that does it for me. Old-fashioned way. While the footage of my little side build plays out, I thought I'd take this opportunity to update you all on my recent growth. For context, I try and backlog content a little, allowing me to create when I feel inspired and have time to work on bigger projects when they need. The backlog also means I won't be scrambling to make a video to meet my schedule. At time of recording, my episode 39 just released a couple of days ago. Now, over the weekend, I hit a new milestone on YouTube, over a thousand hours of watch time in the last 12 months. While I'm still a long way from monetization, it's a huge deal and I'm forever grateful. For everyone that watches, let alone the awesome people that subscribe or share my content with friends. YouTube growth continues to surprise me. However, even more surprising is the recent growth on Twitch. I've been regularly streaming two or three times a week and a lot of friendly faces that join regularly allow me to get the work done whilst having a giggle. This week, I've gained eight subscribers on YouTube, more than my average and really pleased with that, but my growth on Twitch has been even more impressive. A smaller platform and not as well known, however, in the same seven days, I've had more than five times as many follows. Initially, I thought the idea of streaming was terrifying, a chance to embarrass myself live. Yep, that's a scary idea. But being a member of Lifecraft has encouraged me to try, and here I am six months later with nearly as many follows on Twitch as subs on YouTube. If you don't follow me on Twitch, please do so and perhaps join me and the amazing community that's grown next stream. Well, this was a, certainly a little distraction from the normal and uh, I think it came out quite well. Oh, I must remember, put a sign. Uh, heard you were collecting cacks. Uh, from Zach. There we go. Do we have a slime farm near here? Or just a chunk where things are spawning? Oh, okay. A big open space. Whoa. Okay, there's a lot of these guys and that hurt more than I was expecting. But this whole floor's slap, so it must be spawning up there. I assume you jumping. Wait, there's a lot of space back here. Ouch. I do not appreciate it. And the reason that I know she likes cats is because we have a little bit of a collection going upstairs. Uh, I think it's come out of this door, turn left, go up, turn right, I think. I've actually learned my way around Karis's base. Cats. So we have a good number of them. A tuxedo cat. Now you are what's downstairs. I mean, it looks fairly similar. In a little while, I'll be working on the rail line, which I'm hoping to get finished today during the live stream. However, there's a fair bit left to do. So we've got the rail line that goes from the little hub to my base and to Karis's base. We just need the connection between the hub and spawn, which goes through a fair stretch of ocean. And it's probably going to take me a, a decent length stream. But, fingers crossed, we'll get it done. With that little side quest done, I've also finished the rail line that connects me to Spawn and another couple other things around, including helping Ozza. Basically all of the stuff has come back in shulker boxes, which means I have loads of junk. 
So maybe I should sort... Oh, that one's empty. Nice. That saves me one chocolate box to sort through. Yeah, I'd best sort this out, and then we can go work on the main project I have planned for today. Welcome to my creative world. You may recognise this little thing as something I built earlier in this video. I'm here so I can plan out something I'm going to build later on the Lifecraft server. I want to build a flower shop. And I'm hoping to use brick and dark oak. I think that will work well as a palette. Let's see how this comes together. I'm thinking there should be a reasonable size for it. I'm just filling it in. So we're going to end up with dark oak planks on the floor. And I'm hoping to do flowers in the window. Which looks so much better with grass underneath it. So something like that will allow me to put a flower there. And then just have an open window. Which should be fine because, well, nothing can climb up there anyway. So let's just do this a couple blocks higher. So it's this height. And we'll go around and uh, fill it in, see how it goes. Now, I don't want this building to be too boring at the back. So I thought I'd add some kind of texture back here. Now, what I'm trying to do, if I, I can get this done correctly, would be a miracle would be add a little bit of an extension out here so it adds some shape to the roof. Now, we're going to want, just think, like that, and then on top. Now, I want some stone brick for the roof. I think this would be okay. So if we go extending one like that, and then up again, up again and uh, maybe not there maybe slabs on top of that bit Doop. I have also built this very close to my cat I want to have a little bit of overhang over here so then the roof doesn't highlight the shape of this wall being too blocky Slight problem with this cat being in the way, so I might have to move the cat. And fingers crossed. Well, that sort of worked. I was aiming to move him this way, but never mind. Now if we just do, instead of that clone command, we can do a simple fill command with air. There, the cat's gone, which has spawned loads of bats. They must have spawned inside means I can tidy up this roof a little bit and see how it looks. I'm thinking this will work. We'll see. Just adds a little bit of shading to the window. Otherwise it looked a little bit plain on the walls. So yeah. Try that. And then of course just oh, one last side. Like little eyebrows to the windows. Oh, I should put some flowers in. Looking better already just with some flowers in the window. Let's place some flooring down here. Now what I'm thinking of doing for the shop would be having barrels of different produce that people can help themselves to. Uh, let's get me a uh, barrel please. Now I don't know how many barrels I'm going to need. I'm hoping to eventually do all of the flowers. Basically anything that will fit in a flower pot. So we're talking cactuses, with the roses, flowers, two tall and one tall. Although two tall ones don't fit in flower pots, but I'd still like to stock them. If I place them... Oh, that's not a barrel. Put them... Ah, we'll do it forwards. Like that. that gonna work I think that'll work in fact what I could do is that to add more barrels to the room building roofs are a pain I hate them thinking what I just need to do is relatively straightforward but I'm struggling I have this. Yeah, we'll have a flat wall at the. This will be fine. 
probably. I think I'm at a place where I'm happy with this. So it's Green Fingers Flower Shop. And I added a doorbell even though there's no door. Because otherwise the wall looks a bit plain. So in here we got a few barrels that aren't currently being used. It's just for decorative purposes. The main thing is all of the barrels over here. And I've decided to pick and mix one diamond for 32 items. And it can be any 32. So any flowers, any pots, whichever you like, pick and mix. Just like that idea. And of course, in this barrel is flower pots. Hence, flower pots. I'm really not too sure about the roof. There is a, a good argument for maybe I should have gone up here and peeked it, but it's it's yeah. I I struggle with roofs. Can you tell? Actually, no. I'm I'm gonna rip this out because this is horrible. I don't like the way this slopes up here. So what I'm gonna do is instead move it back like this and just mirror how it is on the front. And the roof has been fixed. I think that looks a little bit better. Now the only thing I really want to do is add buttons to these bits. Because these are full blocks and therefore spawnable. And it's going to get dark at night on top of the roof. And we don't want mobs spawning up here. Especially if say like a creeper spawned up here. That would be bad news. Now these are half slabs. So these are fine and these are stairs. So it's just what uh, six rows on the main roof. Done. And it adds texture. Although, mostly it's to stop things spawning. All that's left is to build this on Lifecraft. I just logged on and I was rather confused as to why the hell I'm up a tree. And then I remembered that it, maybe I logged off up here because it was safe. Because, well, down below, I think one of these chunks has a potential of spawning slimes. And so I flew up here at the end of a live stream to sign off safely without being murdered by a slime. A smart move, but it did confuse me. Now, since the last clip that I recorded, I have some progress to show, which means we were to go to spawn. Um, yeah, let's take the rail network. I mean, I finished it recently. We might as well go this way. Uh, shut the door. Oh, some moron left this door open. That moron would be me. Damn hushbug. If you've been following the series, you may recognize this as my brick shop. Something that I used building that over there. So my new shop is right next to my other two shops. And I don't have to travel far to collect all of my diamonds that I, I get from selling stuff. Oh. Nope, none this time. Anyway, new shop. Look, it's built. And I think I did it the same as I did in creative. Which is rare. Normally I build it in survival and then realise that something's a block too big or a block too small. This works. I've also put in basically a barrel full of um, wither roses, cacti and poppies. And put in my spare flowers for the other bits and pieces. However, there's not a lot of them. So we, we will be working on stocking up. Because ten white tulips is not a lot. And to that end, let's go back to the base. You know that place I was at before I just came over here. However, this time, I'm going to get disconnected from the server mid... Oh, standard restart time. I thought I did something wrong. Now we're back at the base, so I can grab the supplies that I need. It's going to be four grass blocks, a load of bone meal, some hoppers, a Chest. Observers. Oh, I don't have a lot of observers. Oh, I have enough in there. We're, we're okay. We'll manage. Thanks. That's probably everything I need in there. So I'm making a flower farm, and the green wing makes the most sense. Just need to remember how to do this. It should be straightforward. Let's clear out a little bit of space, and then see if this all comes together. I think I'm remembering this correctly, which so if I put that there, so we've got an observer pointing, looking upwards, one pointing downwards. Let's see if I can make this jump. Oh, I can. If I put, uh, oh, one redstone dust. Oh, I can't believe I've got to make redstone dust. What a pain, especially when recording. That goes there. If I put a 
pressure plate or a lever there? Do I want a pressure plate or a... Who cares? Doesn't matter. I'm testing it with a lever. I just need to carry that signal into there. So, oh, I need to go down. Like uh, so. If I break that... Oh, wait. Does... How has that extended itself? That's better. And that should be powering that dispenser. So, if we throw some of that lovely stuff in there. Oops. And put that down. Nope, not that. That. We get rose bushes. Simple enough. And turn it off. Obviously, I'm losing some to the hole, but that won't be there. That's temporary, while I was remembering how to redstone. Rose bushes. Fortunately, I have... Please be the... <gasps> it's even the right way round! But the thing about sunflowers is they always face east. Wait, east? Yes, they always face east. So, of course, if you build this farm where you want it to face any other direction... It looks horrible. This looks much better. Then we have lilacs and peonies. I just need to copy this redstone for the other modules. I just realised I could simplify it if I just put the piston over there and feed the observer straight in to the bottom of the dispenser. And then it doesn't need the redstone dust. Which also means... I can put a hopper in the back here and a chest on top. That seems really obvious. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Sometimes I can be really dumb. We put a hopper in the back, put a double chest on top. Or hopper in the back, one on top, and have the chest higher so I can reach it round the rows. Otherwise, trying to fill it from here can be a little bit of a pain, I would assume. I mean, if we can try it. Let's go <laughs> and see if we can open this chest. No, we can't. We just end up placing a second chest. So, we have we have hoppers. We have the technology. We can rebuild it. No, that's something else. If that goes on top. We can feed Something like that. And then... <laughs> like that. Uh, makes it slightly easier to access. Then again, how about a bit... How about a better design? Wow, that was difficult to say. Why don't we rip this out and put the sunflower over here. Let's get rid of you. Uh, get rid of you and you and you. Let's put our next one over this way. Um, I want that there. Is this going to fall? Is this going to... Nope, we're okay. We're good. I put one like that. And then fill her up. And escape somehow. Like a so. Oh, uh, one there. Break that one underneath. We can put dispenser on top. Move this rose bush over one. Then sunflower next to it. We can have that sealed up there. Where they hopper going into each of these. So a double chest goes on top. Like so. And then we'll have Let's have a wall there. Second hopper in like that with a chest there. Second side there. Then we can mirror it on this side. I just remembered I can't do that. Because of course if I activate this lever, it powers both those dispensers. Which is not what I want. Sometimes I can be really dumb. And when I say sometimes, 
I do mean most of the time. Well, I spent enough time messing around. I've rebuilt this several times, and now I've figured out what I think I'm doing. So we'll be having... Give me the right link dispensers. Here. Right on top. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. Space, space, space. Then this wall will be going... Like that. Like that. I know what I'm doing. I have figured it out. Probably. I can then... Use these hoppers. I go into the back of each of the dispensers. I can then feed it round. Like... Not like that. Nearly like that. Do redstone on camera. Stressful. Uh. And then just continue that round to go underneath. To go underneath that barrel. Uh. And. Uh. So if I put loads of bone meal in there, what will happen is get sucked down and go along. Now it will go down in its first opportunity. So this dispenser will fill up first. And then this one, then this one, then this one. And once they're all filled up, the bone mill will start to back up in the chain, which is fine. It just means that you need, what, nine stacks per dispenser, and then you're okay. As long as you've got that much, they'll all work. However, it will probably be overfilled most of the time. Oh dear god, I've set up too many things clicking. Give me those. Get out of my inventory. Uh. One, two, three. <sighs> Peace and quiet. I would have gone crazy otherwise. Alright, crazier. These need to change to... Uh, 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 um, levers. But I've only got one on me and one in there. So I'll have to get those from storage. But I need to change out this flooring anyway. Then we can... Got like that. Oh, right there. Probably going to put a sea lantern above just so it's well lit. I think this will do nicely. And then we can stock the shop. It's only taken me about four trips coming here each time I've remembered. Oh, I forgot one thing. Now I think I have everything I need. Oh, I have a slight worry that there is water above this stone. So, no, oh, not that one. Oh, we're okay. Oh, oh well, one wasted sea lantern. I can live with that. Then all we need to do is a rose bush, one sunflower, one lilac, and one peony. Not uh, peony. Uh, lilac. And peony. Now the reason I have two barrels is because I want fuel to go in there and then this to be my unloading barrel so I can put rose bushes and sunflowers in here and they get taken off to where I'm going to be storing my flower collection. Which I'm not going to do today but it's a bit of forward planning. I will however just pop that there to cover up the hopper. suppose we could fill that up with bone mill and test it. And it's testing time. I mean, I'll fill this up as much as I can. It's still going in, but I think the bone mill's now made it to the last one. Or not. This one? Oh, okay. So I can turn these around. I'll just manually do this one while they're clicking away quite loudly. Shop is successfully stocked, and I've even labelled the boxes. I think this is a pretty good start. I'll have more flowers coming in here later when I've built more farms. However, this is definitely a solid start. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like as it really does help. Subscribe for more of my content and I hope to see you back here for the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye now.